All right, I've been posting more about the options and the stocks lately. Most of you guys know me from Forex. I don't do that anymore. I just trade options and stocks and a little bit of futures here and there now. But you guys seem confused still, even though I post the easiest information that you could ever take in. <laughs> um, I try and make things real not confusing because that's how I would like it. But I'm just going to give you guys the basics of options, all right? Because people are confused. I know in the beginning it's very overwhelming. You got a lot of shit you need to know. But I'm just going to give you the basic rundown difference between stocks and options, right? So, you know, you go out there, you're looking at a stock, um, and the, the classic thing is you buy shares, right? You buy common stock, you buy shares, you know, say you're trading Apple, you know, you buy a share, 10 shares, 20 shares of Apple, you, you will own that for the rest of your life, okay? No matter what the price is of Apple, if it's $0 or if it's a dollar, if it's $200, um, you'll always own the shares, all right? With options, it's a lot different. There's first thing you got to know is expiration date. So these contracts expire. All right. And the reason they expire is because you can exercise those contracts at a certain date. Okay. So there's an expiration date. Um, and the next thing is a strike price. So the strike price is real important. So let's say you're trading Apple, you have the 200 calls. That's your strike price, 200 calls. Um, and they expire December 4th, 2020, okay? So if on December 4th, 2020, those, uh, if Apple is not above 200, your strike price, guess what? Those contracts, they expire worthless, $0. So whatever you paid for them, you lose all of that, okay? So now you guys are understanding why you need to know expiration dates and pick the right strike price, okay? Now, what the hell is a strike price? What's this expiration date? Um, I thought we we're trading stocks here. What's going on? But one option contract it, uh, controls 100 shares, okay? So if you have one option contract on Apple, um, and let's say you have that same $200 strike that expired December 4th. So remember, strike price, expiration, and now we're talking about what happens um, if Apple's above your strike price at you know Friday, the close, December 4th. Well, Let's say Apple goes to $300, just you know, for example, you're $100 in profit, okay? And you have the right to buy 200 shares, I mean 100 shares at $200, okay? So now you see why the value of these options contracts go up um, significantly uh, more than the stock, because let's just you know ballpark here. Um, if you had just one share of Apple at you know $200 and it went up, to 300, well, you made 100 bucks, right? If you had one Apple contract, if you you know pick the right one, we're just ballparking here, right? I don't wanna hear any shit of you options experts down low. Oh, what if you pick this contract? No, we're just ballparking, all right? This is basic beginner stuff, so relax. Um, now, if you had one option contract and it went up $100, right? Same scenario. Well, guess what? you pretty much own 100 shares. You're making $100 times $100, which gives you what, 10 grand? Instead of the measly $100 if you only own the shares. So options are just a way to use leverage um, within the stock market. And yeah, I'll post more of this beginner stuff. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's all I got for you tonight. Hope, you, hope you're starting to grasp how powerful options could be. But there's a lot of shit you got to know um, and a lot of shit you got to learn in order to do it successfully and the right way. Because a lot of people are just buying calls on Tesla. And yeah, that works right now, but it might not work um, next year, right? Um, Tesla's been going crazy. People are buying strike prices that are way above the current price of Tesla and they're making money. That's not always going to happen, okay? So you got to learn more strategies and... Uh, yeah, I mean, take advantage of shit like that when it happens. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just here to give you guys the basics, the beginner tips. All right. Hope you enjoyed.